basically right now all we're doing is brainstorming. Yeah. And to kind of figure out what our current system is, what's wrong with it, and how can we change it for the better in yeah. a way that actually is possible. Yeah, so that's sort of a big distinction shift, which it doesn't seem super significant, but it like a distinction shift like that can really change the way that um, teachers and students interact in real life. Like if we think of students as adults in training, then they'll see themselves not as like underneath teachers, mm -hmm. but the, the as one. learning with them. Each of these, right? Yeah, so your assessment's gonna be lifelike. Everything should be a reflection of real life situations. So we didn't actually define did. what makes a good student no. or like what makes what we need to be as students. Yeah. Okay. So what do you guys think? Like committed slash motivated. Um. Look at this. Yeah. I was reading how to make friends and influence people, and it said um, 85 percent of your job is based off how well you can work with people. Oh yeah, Here, this is what we just and fifteen percent is um, what how much you actually know. <laughs> okay, so the so future what? is prepares for life, and we need the now. So, this is it's it's supposed to prepare us for life back then, but so like life was a factory us. back then. <sighs> and so, in being assessed, you're really being instead of being about do you know the knowledge, it's really about are you ready. Yeah, are you ready? N not just academically, but based on life and based off the things that happen in life. But are, are, are you prepared for? Are, are you prepared for a job? Are you prepared for this? Are you prepared for that? Um, really bridge the gap between profession and knowledge, and how you're going to use that knowledge to uh, succeed in your profession. All right, we believe that students should not be viewed as subjects to be taught, but adults in training. Yeah. Yes.